Right, Ben, what should we talk about? Um, so, yes, Ben has Angelman syndrome, which is actually a new syndrome for me to experience as a teacher. I actually haven't seen it a lot in my teaching career. Um, so I've done lots of learning and actually leading on from all the yoga that he does, he has a lot of physio input. Um, he works very closely with the physio team and the orthotics team to get all the equipment that he needs to be able to move his body in the way that he can. Um, ben came up from the school with uh, a wheelchair and a walker and this year he hasn't used that at all because we've really focused on the mobility of his body. <laughs> Yeah, and he smiles all the time. You love being the centre of attention. You want to talk to Debbie. <laughs> he loves being the centre of attention and um, he has just done fantastic this year, I have to say. Um, he... You have! Yay, Ben! <laughs> I think uh, Ben really loves our yoga sessions. Uh, and I think he gets a lot out of them as well. He participates beautifully and we have a lot of fun and it's very engaging um, and I think it works really well. He particularly enjoys any props that we use and also finding the way that his body can move um, in the space around him. So yeah, we've had um, some lovely yoga sessions together and I think he really does benefit from them. Somebody with the Angelman syndrome has quite a wide set mouth and their teeth are very far apart, which means that they smile or they look like they're smiling a lot of the time. So students like Ben, if he, he could be sad or he could be upset, but he will always be smiling because his, his facial structure, yeah. nine times out of the 10, he's always happy. So <laughs> yeah. it's good.